ASO, otherwise known as allele-specific oleonucleotide, is a hybridization technique using a dotpot-like method. ASO uses immobilized permanently fixed targets and a label probe, similar to southern blood. This method is used to detect frequently occurring mutations for the genotyping of organisms. Synthetic single-stranded probes for normal or mutant DNA sequences are used in this assay. This technique uses the difference in melting temperature of short sequences of about 20 base pair with one or two mismatches compared to those with no mismatches. ASO hybridization is performed according to the following procedure. Amplification of the gene region of interest by PCR. PCR products are spotted on either nitrocellulose or nylon membranes followed by denaturation of the DNA by soaking the membranes in a high salt NaOH solution. DNA neutralization with weak acid and permanent fixation to the membrane by baking or ultraviolet cross-linking. Fluorescently, radioactively or enzymatically labeled probes matching the normal mutated sequence are then hybridized to the dots in separate reactions under specific conditions. After hybridization, the residual probes are washed away, and the probe signal will only be detected over the spots containing matching sequences. For example, the human disease sickle cell anemia is caused by a genetic mutation in the codon for the sixth amino acid in the blood protein beta hemoglobin. The normal DNA sequence GAG codes for the amino acid glutamate, while the mutation changes the middle adenine for thymine, leading to a sequence GTG. The salted sequence substitutes a valine into the final protein, distorting its structure. To test for the presence of the mutation in a DNA sample, a probe would be synthesized to be complementary to the altered sequence, and another probe complementary to the normal sequence. As shown in these results, dot 1 is a homozygous control for the wild type, and dot 2 is a homozygous control for a mutant. In these results, only sample 4 has a normal allele, whilst samples 3 and 5 have both the wild and the mutant alleles, and are therefore heterozygous carriers of this recessive mutation. Only sample 6 has a homozygous mutant allele and would be affected by the disease. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more educational videos.